Welcome back. Former Holby star Amanda Mealing is still to come in just under 10 minutes. First, though, when it comes to childcare, nearly half of us mums say that dads aren't doing their fair share. But a new series that started last night aims to change that. In Daddy Daycare, nine men are challenged to swap their day jobs for a week working in a children's nursery. If you didn't see it, here's what happened at story time. I can't get their attention. Hands up if you're ready for a story. If your hands aren't up, I'm going to put you nowhere, am I? Gary's been unable to settle the children for the past ten minutes. Yo, 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 oi! Let alone start his story. Is everybody ready for the story? Seriously, people. And once again, the staff Hands have to step people. in. Well, father of three, Gary Kasulu, who we just saw attempting bedtime stories, is here, along with dad, Paul Wallace, who features in next week's episode. Gary, I really do hope your bedtime story techniques improved, has it? Hugely. I didn't realise that the amount of energy that I have goes on to the children. And with Leah, my wife, she used to say, look, don't come home and stir the children up. Because it was my special time, I, I didn't really realise. The penny didn't drop. But it, it has, and I've changed hugely since that program. What was the moment when the penny dropped and you decided to apply for a place on the show? Oh, I'm glad you asked me because it's really funny how it happened. I had a disagreement with Leah, my wife, who I love very much, by the way. <laughs> if she's watching. <laughs> and, and the children. <laughs> we have a disagreement about how to discipline our elders. I said, put him in the naughty corner. She said, look, it's, choose your battles. It's not that kind of thing. So we discuss that. We have an argument. Uh, go on to Facebook, and then flashing on Facebook is a, is a banner saying, does your wife think you're a weekend dad? And, I, and she accused me of being a weekend dad, so I answered. And there you go, and that's how it all happened. I wouldn't have done such a thing otherwise. Now, I don't know whether you're a weekend dad or not, but you certainly are a bit of a workaholic, aren't you? Is, was that the problem, really, that you were always working? I, I, I like to work. I've got work ethic. I enjoy, I enjoy being at work, but I also enjoy being with the children, and my work-life balance wasn't correct. And I think everybody struggles with work-life balance. Oh, we all struggle with that. But what did being in that nursery for the week teach you, and how have you changed? It taught me a lot of things about myself. I have a short attention span. I, um, the golden moments. I was missing out on these golden moments. For, for, for me, feeding the children was just a process of putting a spoon in a child's mouth. But now, when you're feeding the children, it's magical, and it's, it's changing a nappy or bathing. It was a process before, but now I understand it's quite beautiful, actually. Well, Paul's nodding away. Um, Paul, you're featured in next week's show. Really That's looking right, forward yeah. to seeing you there. So you're safe. You've been out already. Uh, <laughs> mine's to come yet. So. How would you describe, you're a father of three, how would you describe your parenting <sighs> skills before your week in the nursery? Well, I mean, for me, I'm the kind of guy that, um, uh, I mean, I, I, the way I see it is that I'm out working all day long. I work extremely hard. And when I get home, all I want to do is sit down, watch TV, listen to my Shaken Stevens CDs. I'm a mad Shaken Stevens fan, by the way. I don't want to shake your fans out there. Um, and, yeah, just basically, um, you know, I kind of felt it was her role to do the, the, the baby thing. Are you telling us and you're a bit of a dinosaur on, yeah, your, on I, your views I of am, parenting? Really. I think, it, I think it kind of stems back from my own dad, um, because I remember him being um, not really distant from us. He just never got hands-on with anything, you know? And it was always my, my mother who'd done anything like the nappy changes or anything kind of to do with the kids. My, my own father was the, the voice of authority in the house. And, um, you know, all I remember from him is the voice of doom. Oh, and that was no. it. And it was, uh, it was only when we were getting told off for something that was when... We heard from Dad. Well, I know you, your partner would say that you've never been very hands-on on the nappy front. So uh, that's right. This yeah. really serves you right, doesn't it? Shall we have a little look at you <sighs> in action? Let's go. <laughs> Come here, darling. And he's straight back on nappy duty. <sighs> Come with me. There you go, darling. Oh. <laughs> Despite spending his first day changing nappies, Paul avoided facing any poo. Oh God, that is wow. Today his luck is up in a big way. Oh, no! Do you know, we've, we've spared our breakfast audience <laughs> the contents of that nappy bit. Oh, how, dear. How has it changed you, Paul? Uh, by the way, I still get nightmares from a little Heidi <laughs> there. I think I've, I can still smell it. Um, I think you banged a head, actually, didn't you? Yeah, I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't on purpose, like, oh, I'm changing your nappy. No, um, I, 
to be honest with you, I kind of thought like nappy changing is it, so such an easy thing to do. It just doesn't matter who does it. it. It just didn't really play any part in my head. And it was also something like, well, I don't really need to be doing that because that's that's mum's job and what have you. Um, but are you doing it now with your little yeah, one? Yeah. Funny enough, it's something as simple as changing nappy. It's such a bonding experience. I mean, after that with Heidi, what we just see, I, I became really quite attached to her. And because there's like a level of trust that goes on. And, you know, I tackle my own little baby now. And, um, yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's the, the whole bonding process is, is, is unbelievable. Well, it's lovely to hear. And I know it's given you both a, a new respect for the wonderful ladies that look oh, after it. Usually ladies that look after it. They don't get paid own. enough, they really. Don't get paid more enough, men, more men in childcare, for sure. Well, it was great to see you last night, Gary. Paul, yeah. I think we're going to see you next Wednesday, 8 o'clock. That's on right, Channel yeah. 4. I shall make sure I tape that. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you for having <laughs> us.